Wow, wait till you hear this. Some of you won't be surprised one bit. This is the quickest way to do it, and I got to take my dog out. That's another discussion. <laughs> Poor baby. All right, listen to this. Donald Trump's chief of staff, Mick Mulvaney, told the Conservative Political Action Conference that the coronavirus was a hoax of the day. Uh, do you agree with Donald Trump's chief of staff, Mulvaney, that the coronavirus uh, is the hoax of the day? The State Department is doing everything it can to protect American citizens you, around the do world. Do you believe coronavirus? I, I'm not going to comment on what others are saying. You, you I'm just asking you. Do you I'm believe the coronavirus telling, is a I'm hoax? I'm just telling you what the Secretary of State is doing. Do you believe the coronavirus is a hoax? We're working to keep people safe. You can't even answer that question. Yeah, it's I mean, very. It's not even a gotcha the, question. You're, you're, I mean, the it coronavirus is, is it's a hoax. A, it's a gotcha moment. It's not useful. Take, is the coronavirus a hoax? Can you just answer that question? We're, we're taking it seriously. This is a, this is a. Uh, this are is you serious? at twelve fifteen today? Are you in like fact yourself president? speaking at CPAC? The, at twelve fifteen today, are you speaking? Yes, I am. I'm planning. All right, so you can only give two hours to this bipartisan group of members of Congress, and instead of answering questions on life and death issues from a bipartisan group of America's representatives. You're going to go talk to a special interest group. Yes. You, sir, represent all Americans, not a special interest and group. I it is shameful. That. You can't even answer basic questions. I know that time has expired. I tell you what, <clears throat> I suspected it. Oh, hold on. Here's information about the number Sorry. of... It's not going to shut up like my other alarm clock. Okay. That's just telling me it's time to take Buddy out. But I saw this, and this is not the first thing that this um, Mick Mulvaney, what, is that his name? The, um, oh shoot, I can't even remember what his title was. Secretary of State? Every time I say that, I think of, what's her name? Not Pelosi. Anyway, it's Mick Mulvaney. He made another blooper yesterday or the day before calling something maybe one of y'all caught it and could put it in the description box I mean I'm sorry I am so tired today I can hardly think but I saw this and I said I gotta get this up if it'll stay up um, what's going on what is going on why are we being denied visitors and you are supposed to stay at home and your kids are at school? We know for a fact they're installing 5G in the form of a tower. They're putting cages around them and probably are going to brick them up, a faux brick, <clears throat> to look like a new decorative chimney was erected. And they'll all come back, and they might wonder, what in the world is that? I wonder what they'll tell them. Anyway, they're 5G. You can tell it. You can see it on Logic Before Authority. He's been sent picture after picture from people in various states, at various elementary, even preschools. of these things going up and the trucks are all hidden in the back they had to drive to the back or where they could get a shot of the back of the school to take pictures of all these white vans with their logo on it and were sent to Daniel and he's got them up on his channel now that was the last video I watched it was over an hour but, um, and part of it goes kind of slow, but it, you know, it had those pictures, it had a lot of information in it. Okay, so we ask ourselves, okay, so they're putting up 5G while the kids are out of school. A lot of CEOs have quit their jobs. What's going on? Does it matter? Should it matter to us as Christians? Is it possible that Satan knows the Bible so well? He knows when the rapture is? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. I don't think so. I personally don't think so. 
but he may know a better time frame than even any of us. Something's going on. And yet, I fear, we don't have to fear it, but it could be, this is all going to blow over in a couple of weeks. The case numbers are going to go way down all of a sudden. And then they're going to say, okay, you can, uh, we feel certain you can stop your quarantines and so on and so forth. Summer will come. The hot weather will be part of what brings it down and whatever. This fall, they'll have everything in place. And then the worst case scenario of it all could happen, like in China. But I just feel certain. I keep thinking of that scripture. Just as in the days of Noah, there will be eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. When the Lord comes for us at the time of the first rapture, that's not how it's worded, but that's what it means. Nobody's probably being allowed. Church services are canceled. I thought a wedding was happening over here the other night. Friday night, I heard music, and then all of a sudden, it just quit. So I'm wondering, did the cops get called, and did they have to stop it? Or it could have just been... <laughs> this White House playing their music too loud for 15 or 20 minutes? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I don't know what to think. Feel free to put your comments, leave your comments, tell me what you think, what is going on, because I don't think it's what they're telling us. And yet they keep reporting new cases. I think that's the regular flu. That's in my honest opinion, the H1N1, which is worse than the kind of flu people got in the early part of the flu season. The flu is deadly. We know that. Just look at the statistics for influenza. And you'll see what I mean. But when you add 5G, whatever that does to the body, I don't know. I'm just speculating. Let me know what you think. All right, I'll let you go, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.